So what is going on guys, my name is Zero and welcome back to some more Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville here today on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you and giving you the easiest way to complete all three diamond gnomes in Mount Steep. To collect all of these diamond gnomes you do need to have completed some of the main quest line to allow yourself to pick up the harmonica and be able to send the most flies to be able to destroy the hardened cheese. And of course there are three diamond gnomes to collect, one of them is a puzzle, one of them is sort of like a parkour course, and the third one is a boss fight. I'm going to start off by showing you the diamond puzzle solution so that you can follow what is shown on video and then complete it yourself to easily get the diamond gnome. Now this location is found over here where you can see on the map right now. Just as you're going into these sort of caverns, there is a harmonica on the left. If you quickly pick that up and follow me on screen, you will be able to break the hardened cheese and then go and complete the diamond puzzle. Now what I will be doing is showing you the puzzle in full and I'll also be showing numbers on screen of how many times you need to turn each platform. The first two puzzles are very easy, but the third and fourth one do get difficult. However, it was a lot of fun, I really enjoyed it, and it's such a shame that there aren't going to be any more puzzles, considering Town Center Zombies does share the gnomes that we had from Town Center Plants. But nonetheless, hopefully you find this puzzle helpful, and once it's complete, we'll move on to the second diamond gnome.
For the second diamond gnome, you do need to head to this location in Old Town, and you need to grab the harmonica, which is located inside of the fort that you talk to the dandelion. There is going to be a bridge at the side of the cliff. You can walk down this bridge and destroy the herd cheese. Once you do that, you are going to need to enter 50 sheriff badges into a gnome loath to be able to take on a gnome boss. Now once you have entered the 50 sheriff badges, a gnome is going to appear on top of a different gnome loath. What you need to do is pick this up and take it to the highlighted ring in the center of the room. Once you've done this, a gnome will appear called the Mimic Knight and you need to vanquish him as quick as possible. Now what you're going to need to do is repeat this process three times, but the gnome that you're going to need to pick up is going to be in a different location each time. One's right in front of you, one's to the left and one's to the right. Now while you are trying to fight the Mimic Knight, you are going to get other gnomes attacking you during this challenge. So make sure you don't run out of time or you don't get vanquished otherwise you are going to have to enter another 50 sheriff badges and try this challenge again. Once you have defeated all three mimic knights, a diamond gnome will appear and you can go and collect it. For the third and final diamond gnome, you need to head to Steep Mines. Now you need to grab yourself a harmonica, I use the one that is closest to the boss door and the reason for this is I feel it's the closest one to the objective of where we need to go and if you follow the on-screen direction that I take, you're going to come across a bridge. Now right in front of you there is going to be some hardened cheese, however we're not going to be destroying that one today. If you look down next to where the liquid cheese is, you will see another section that is hardened cheese. All you need to do is send the mouse flies to destroy that, and then if you jump onto this platform where there is also a chest, a floating platform will appear in the liquid cheese. All you need to do is jump on this platform and it will take you through this tunnel. And what you need to do is find your way across the jumping platform on all of the liquid cheese and make your way across, make your way up the waterfall and then across the waterfall once again. And you need to jump on this final platform which lifts up into the sky through like a cheese uh, kind of like volcano thing I guess you could say. And once you reach the top of this platform, the third and final diamond gnome will appear. And there we go, that is all three diamond gnomes inside of Mount Steep. Once you have all the three diamond gnomes, you can go to the gnome boss door. I will actually show you on screen where that is right now, so you can go ahead and try and find it yourself. But nonetheless, hopefully you did find this tutorial helpful. If you did, make sure you do drop a like down below. It really does show the support on the channel and shows me that you really find these tutorials helpful. But nonetheless, hopefully you did enjoy today's video. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Zero and I will catch you all in another video.